Did you know that 71% of the people that watch Matthew Kelly's videos are not subscribers? That makes no sense. We need to change that. Subscribe today. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and turn on those notifications so you never miss out on another great video ever again. In the beginning, we spoke about these three sort of core values of committed, coachable, and aware. And they, they can be drawn on in every aspect of our lives, every moment of our days, and especially in our work. I mean, one of the things that um, the awareness aspect of the committed, coachable, aware uh, concept helps us to understand is that, you know, what's the starting point? You know, whenever we start a project or even if I go to a meeting, very often I will ask at the, at the beginning of the meeting, you know, what is the purpose of this meeting, you know? Even though I know in my mind maybe what I think the purpose of the meeting is, and maybe everyone in the room has some sense of what the purpose of the meeting is, but it's just helpful to say, you know, what the purpose of this meeting is X, or the desired outcome of this meeting is Y. And, you know, our God is a God of, um, He's a God of purpose. Our God's a God of purpose. He does things on purpose, with purpose, for purpose. And there's a lot of people who think that, oh, we have to work, you know, because Adam and Eve messed things up in the garden. Not so. You know, if you, if you pick up your Bible and you open up Genesis, and, you know, what, what you'll read is that long before the fall, you know, God put Adam in the garden, and what did he put him in the garden to do? He put him in the garden to, to turn and till the soil. He put him in the garden to work. We need work. Work is important to us. We need something to do. Endless leisure is diabolical. You know, if anybody knows people who never have to work in their life, that almost never works out well, you know. And the reason is, is because work is part of God's original design for humanity, not a result of the fall, not a result of Adam and Eve messing up in the garden so we've all got to go to work every day. No, it's part of God's original, purposeful, intentional design for the human experience. So what's the purpose of work? What's the meaning of work? Because the purpose of work is that when we work well, when we work hard, when we pay attention to the details of our work, we become a better version of ourselves. And it's like you can almost feel it happening. We live in a culture that says the meaning of work is to make money. Absolutely wrong. Do we need money? Yes. Do we need to pay our bills? Absolutely. Does that need to be part of the consideration when we take a job? No question. But it is not the primary purpose of work. It's a secondary outcome of work. The primary purpose of work is that when we work hard, when we apply ourselves to our work, when we pay attention to the details of our work, we, be we actually become better human beings. We become more perfectly ourselves. We become a better version of ourselves. We take a step closer to the best version of ourselves. We grow in virtue, we grow in character. Work is an incredibly important part of the human experience. And it's not something that's just to be um, put up with. It's not something that we're just meant to uh, endure. Work is something to be embraced, not just tolerated. It's something to be celebrated, embraced, because 
it does help us grow in virtue, character. It does help us become more perfectly ourselves. It does help us become the best version of ourselves. And so work is a good thing. And we live in a culture where work's got a bad reputation. Oh, I got to go to work. No, we get to go to work. We get to go to work and work plays a very important role in the development of the human being.